For the trip up north, I'm going to be driving a 1979 Holden Kingswood. The Kingswood is an Australian icon. My old girl's just turned 23, which is 69 in car years, so let's just hope she can keep up with me. Now everywhere else in Australia, roadside stops are known as rest areas. But oh no, not in Victoria. So don't go wasting your whole day there. First stop on my journey will be Echuca, on the banks of the mighty Murray River. Echuca used to be a bustling inland port, with numerous paddle steamers working up and down the river. By the early 1970s, the port was left derelict and unused. Luckily the townsfolk had the foresight to start restoration of the old port. Today the paddle steamers are making a comeback. Many old sunken boats are being raised and repaired to their former glory. Echuca now boasts the world's largest collection of paddle steamers, and is a great example to rural towns how they can use their heritage to help establish tourism. And there's no better bloke to interview than Kevin Hutchison, a shipwright who has played a large role in the paddle steamer revival. The things I like about Echuca is very quiet, laid back town, not really, it is a tourist town but it doesn't seem to be all that noisy at night time and safe to walk around and what have you and uh, people are friendly. Everyone's yeah, nice to get on with, and plenty of good eating places, catering for all sorts of tastes, whether you want a real slap up meal or just some fish and chips, it's all here. Well, my job here is to maintain and operate port paddle boats. It's a seven day a week job. Sometimes come down the middle of the night, river rising or falling, just to make sure they're all safe. And over the years we've restored five paddle boats, now on our fifth one now, the hero. Pevensey really is my favourite, it's been part of my life since 1963. Oh, she's just a lovely old boat, she's yeah, got no vices as long as you look after it. And grumps and groans a bit now, the, you know, the old gears are worn out a bit. And, but she still plods along quite nicely. The river is part of my life, has been all the time, you know, since uh, I could ride a bike I used to go in the river at Muldura and watch things going on there, you know, the boats going by and things disappearing. One Aussie custom I very much enjoy is beer o'clock. At the end of a hard day, a great way to get a feel for a place and find out what's worth doing is to drop into the local boozer for a beer and a chat. OK, it's really just an excuse for a beer or two, but I'm sure you'll have no problem adjusting the local time.